I'm in Bosnia and Herzegovina, or Beha, as they say here, and it's been great to come to another country, so before I came here, I mean, first of all, wonderful views. Right now, I'm, I've been staying for a week in the mountains just near Cognac, um, so it was great to, to come here. First of all, I got in touch with uh, Michael, who map, has mapped a lot of Beha, and I met him in Sarajevo, so he was able to give me some leaflets that were in Bosnian, uh, quite common open street map leaflet, but I normally hand out the English one a lot. And he told me a lot about uh, maps in open street map in, in Beha, um, and how it, it just needs some updating, it needs more people involved. So this week I've been on a camp with the evangelical churches of Beha all meeting together um, or at least their teens meeting together and some of the leaders a uh, great opportunity one day I had was to run a workshop on OpenStreetMap so I did it a little bit differently because I wasn't sure of the internet connection and, and the computer setup I used um, some paper and, and we talked about what's important for um what what makes maps important or what makes them great why we like maps and and we did that a bit more verbal but wrote down a few answers um we also tried to draw a map of behar and and the different towns people were from that's a really fun way to do a workshop when people are from different places i'll put my my slides in the a link to them in the description below but um but yeah, they kind of ended and then we went into a little demonstration. I thought we were going to use JOSM um, and I had some data saved offline. But actually it turned out to be easier with our laptops and the, the limited internet connection. We, we were still able to use the ID editor. Um, so we did, we did that and we mapped a few buildings in Sri Lanka to actually help humanitarian organisations in another country. Although um, MSF had, had given me a bit of a request that, that they might be working in Behar and some, some maps would be good of, of the villages that aren't so well done. I only had four 15-year-olds um, in my workshop, but I also had uh, uh, three leaders um, and, and there was interest there, um, particularly looking at the different towns they were from and, and whether they're, um, the church that they, that they meet together with was mapped. So some of the cities did have the church, the, the church building or one of them in, uh, in Mostar was missing. So we added that to the map nice and easily. Um, there's a lot of flies here far too hot for me to be in this country very long so it'll be great to to hopefully some of those people might have uh, been interested in open street map and, and they can continue to walk around the the towns and and update the map one interesting thing they noticed um i'm not sure which behar town it was but someone uh said they could so so behar has a definitely a coffee culture a cafe culture where people will sit in in cafes um, to, to spend their time and um, I, I think the cafes look pretty much the same but, but someone was able to tell that the person mapping their town or who had been mapping their town um, they could tell their music taste based on which cafes have been mapped and, and they know what kind of music there is there so it's great to actually teach more people open street map uh, so more cafes get mapped and, and and more things that people spot. Um, we all had different interests and it'd be great for all of them to be on the map. I was quite excited that they have a supermarket called Mercata. Um, it's just a standard supermarket, not where you buy your Mercata projection map tiles. But this branch, I think the glass panels are actually in Mercata sizing. Um, also in Sarajevo is the remains of the 1984 Olympic um, bobsleigh track. So 
I took my GPS and, and checked that that was mapped correctly on OpenStreetMap. It's beautiful here, absolutely beautiful. Come and visit sometime and, uh, and use the map to find your way around, um, but also update it yourself.